We have the King of Pentacles in the reverse, Ten of Wands. So someone is definitely burdened by the fact that they couldn't stand up for something or they are burdening themselves or whether they're refusing to let go out of greed or selfishness. Out of greed or selfishness or there could be someone, this is someone you lost hope in, faith. This is someone who's brought you despair, discomfort, change. Hmm. Wow. Queen of Pentacles is in the reverse. This is someone you have gave to in the past. Someone you invested in. Someone you are now deeply disappointed by. There's a lot of love here. Or there's a lot of love that has been lost. Please take it how it resonates. Reverse the roles if necessary. But I feel this is someone who definitely burdened themselves by, what, by being a fool. Someone burdened themselves by trying to get away with something strategically. This is full energy of someone taking a leap of faith, causing a burden because they were not satisfied or understanding the position they had with you. We also have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse as well as the King of Pentacles in reverse. This was the yin to your yang. This is someone you would ride or die for, but I feel the energy is different. The star here is in the reverse, so there's a lack of faith when it comes to this energy who has brought you a great sense of despair. For many of you, this star in the reverse could also mean a disconnect. A disconnect because of conflict. There are financial differences or Differences when it comes to morals, values, exceptions. Hmm. Someone definitely went against the grain. Their energy changed the vibe within the connection. Changed you both because of their foolish or selfish ways. I feel someone was foolish within a connection. Lost grip of reality. Someone gave into a false hope or a false sense of self. Someone allows someone else to gas them up, causing something to come to an end or some type of completion here with the world card. I feel this could be a wholeness or someone finding a sense of closure or wholeness. Queen of Swords, you have to clear something away. So this is unfinished business for some of you, but for many of you, this was a liberating moment by letting go of something that was holding you back, even if you knew it or not. Ace of Cups, there's a lot of love here. As I said before, there's a lot of love within this situation where there was no real clear boundaries, but I feel the respect and the love that you desired was made clear. But still, there was no justice, there was no fairness, but something is being judged. I feel you could be finding a clear mind in this cold space. I feel you had to be direct when it comes to this energy, direct when it comes to communication or you could be clearing something away here with the queen of swords energy page of cups someone could meet you halfway i feel this is someone who is lacking emotionally page of cups energy this is someone who is always looking for a new opportunity this could also be someone who is lacking when it comes to communication it's just they're, they're having a hard time coming from the heart when it comes to communication. This energy just walks away, Eight of Cups. I feel this energy walking away created some type of damage, an overflow of emotions. This is something that came unexpectedly. Yeah, it caused a lot of damage here, Eight of Swords energy. This is negative energy, self-imposed restrictions by someone who was playing the victim. I feel like this victim mentality causes this energy to feel isolated or isolate themselves here with the Eight of Swords energy compared here with the Eight of Cups as well as the Three of Wands in reverse sitting on top of the cup, the Ace of Cups. This is letting me know someone was playing it small. This energy has no vision and this is why they walked away causing emotions to overflow. This is a restriction when it comes to something that was long overdue. Something needed to change. Something needed to fall apart. I feel something needed to fall apart to be rebuilt, whether that was within this connection or just with you. I feel there's a new beginning as you clear something away, Queen of Swords. Long-term view after being restricted or isolated from the truth or even isolated from self. Someone didn't see the truth 
someone did see something the clear vision a long-term vision and this is why someone screwed something up with you there's a lot of insecurity someone was living beyond their means or living in some type of falsehood someone went too far went too far in these restrictions that are self-imposed causing a death an ending a painful ending where there is spirit change someone's still holding on to something and someone is still blaming you this is someone who has been long overdue for a personal change this is why the death card is in the reverse someone is re refusing or resisting that change hmm. the personal goals between the two of you have changed you have grown this energy has yet to do so five of pentacles energy is letting me know there's a lot of financial loss lack of faith this is a lack mindset for someone who has isolated themselves but still doing things to numb the pain this is someone who has isolated themselves and feeling defeated and even though they feel defeated someone is still not letting something go not letting something ride which is only causing bad luck for them here with the will of fortune in the reverse we also have the death card in the reverse eight of wands in the reverse hmm. and the knight of swords so I feel like on every level, this is someone who just couldn't meet your energy, not because there was something wrong with you, but something wrong with them. This is someone who needs to change, but failed to do so. Too comfortable where they are, queen of wands. I feel like this is someone who allowed the comfortable space that you prepared to be enough. Hmm. Someone didn't put in the effort, causing everything to change. The world card will... The Wheel of Fortune and the reverse. This is bad luck. Someone losing control. Breaking a cycle. Negative phase. So I feel like you could be breaking a cycle of a negative phase. Or someone was being impulsive with you. Here with the King of Wands and the reverse. Someone was not using their head in a situation. Well, not the right one. But I feel this is someone who was very hasty with you. This is someone who couldn't let something go. Here with the Hangman energy all concerned about something that didn't really matter i feel like their focus was off and this is why someone got impulsive and something changed i definitely feel this is someone who's going through a great sense of loss and i feel that's also bringing them a sense of resentment something didn't work out in their favor they're really upset about something they're looking at what they have versus what they had they're not happy with it they feel like they've been left out in the cold when it comes to you but i feel whatever moves that you have made was rightfully so <sighs> someone feels like you left them out in the cold they're in need they're in poverty if not poverty this energy is in fear of some type of loss <sighs> king of wands this is someone who moves impulsively but they are frustrated by their delays they're holding something off they're in a panic someone's in a panic because of something that's going on with themselves because here with the king of cups in the reverse someone's still trying to be bold within the situation so it seems like someone is trying to be bold still trying to understand something but someone's still not investing in the facts someone is still not trying to be truthful with themselves when it comes to you i feel this is someone who is still out of balance lacking when it comes to abundance someone's going through a quiet phase where nothing is moving nothing is growing and this is why they're sitting around thinking about you for many of you, you feel like this is someone who has no reason to think about you at this point. And for others, you know they have every reason to be thinking about you at this time. Someone's going through a great sense of loss since you're no longer pouring into something. Temperance is in the reverse. Six of Swords. So, here with the Temperance card in the reverse as well as the Six of Swords, this is letting me know you moved on from something. You're no longer pouring into something or someone. Please take it how it resonates. And they're on the defense about it. This is very challenging for someone here who is sitting in the Seven of Wands energy. Someone feels like you're protecting yourself from them. Protecting yourself from the disappointment, the lies, the heartbreak. Hmm. And they're frustrated because something didn't work out. Ten of Cups in the reverse. Sun card in the reverse. Ten of Swords. Painful ending. Someone ruined something. Believing it could never be fractured or damaged. But I feel this Ten of Swords energy is letting me know it's a painful ending. Or someone is realizing they didn't get the outcome that they wanted. Someone was thinking small. Lack of fiction. Uh, conviction direction someone is going through frustration and delays conflict and battles because you laid something to rest 
even if there's no closure i feel many of you could be healing or moving on justice is also in the reverse this is unfair something was unfair unjust done without cause someone was not being accountable for their actions there's a lot of guilt dishonesty disharmony someone was trying to punish you through silence or distance but i feel they only ended up punishing themselves through a tower moment we have a tower moment here in the reverse so this is letting me know someone created some type of chaos but it only backfired for them this is a personal transformation for you as well please take it how it resonates but i feel there's a fear of change someone feels like you've outgrown them mm. Difficult decision. You made a difficult decision. It's coming out in the reverse here. Two of Swords is in the reverse. I feel like you had to choose the lesser of two evils. If you walked away, there is pain. If you, even if you stayed, there will be pain. But I feel you had to choose the direction that makes more sense to you when it comes to fear, worry, and confusion. I feel this was unfair because you did more than enough over and beyond for this connection. But someone always had a way of going against the grain or just breaking all the rules. Here with the Five of Pentacles energy here, this energy feels like you left them out in the cold for turning something upside down or being unjust or unfair, but I feel justice is being served when it comes to a truth that have yet to be spoken. Someone can't sleep at night, there's a lot of turmoil. This is how they end up having resentment for the choice that you made. Hmm. Someone wants you to reverse a decision. Someone feels like they forced your hand. Wow, this is why the decision is coming out in the reverse. In so many ways, I feel many of you were forced to make a decision where someone was just not acting right. The Empress was in the reverse. This is a decision that you feel like you were forced to make. Someone pushed you to a limit. Someone made you feel like your best wasn't good enough or your efforts would only be wasted for someone who is never really treating you right. Star energy here. Someone knows that you are the star. Someone was hoping that you always gave in. This is someone who is now trying to accept something. Five of Cups. Someone is trying to accept the loss, accept the sorrow, wanting to move on, but this energy feels like they can't. There's a lot of sorrow, sadness, depression that's only leading this energy to a, a dark space of resentment. This is why someone is looking at what they have gained from a situation which is nothing, but I feel this is someone who is trying to figure out how to gain more, see more, do more, without confessing, making some type of realization when it comes to facts. I feel like this is someone who can kind of get lost in a false sense of self or a false sense of reality as this is someone who is lacking when it comes to compassion, being real being authentic when it comes to choices and learning from mistakes. This is someone who is coming out as impulsive and ruthless, especially when they feel like they're not getting what they want. This is someone who can be very hasty with their actions and their words here with the King of Wands in the reverse. I feel this is someone who's still not letting something go. Someone's still trying to hold your words against you or maybe even your actions, but it's causing more of a burden for them than it is for you because they are the ones who have to carry around the hate to keep this going. Someone should have been accepting an offer. This is what is also replaying in their mind and their energy. They're realizing that it caused a lot of damage, but this energy is still not trying to accept the fact that they caused everything to crumble. Someone is still moving quickly, still moving loosely, still juggling two of pentacles. There is no self-improvement. Eight of pentacles in the reverse. This is someone who is still moving out of greed, selfishness. They're still misdirected through their activity. Let's get some more energy here. I'm going to go grab an oracle deck. Someone is still wasting their opportunities, still not putting in the effort or the work. This is why you had to clear someone away because you felt like they would never change or they would always take your kindness for a weakness. This is someone who can be very over dramatic or emotional. Even though they know that you are a star, star energy, someone feels like you should have accepted something. You should have just let something go. Hangman energy, they feel like 
you're gonna hold something against them. Someone feels like you're gonna hold a financial loss or the fact that they tried to isolate themselves or the fact that they're now sitting in mental or emotional poverty. Oh, I mix up my cards, they're backwards and everything. But as I said before, this energy is coming out as a fool. Someone who did something for a very foolish reason and they got nothing for it. Five of Pentacles is letting me know they've been left out in the cold. Someone's been left out in the cold after being cleared away. As I since you had to separate yourself in some way. Let's get some final energy here from this thing. I feel like you have to separate yourself from this. Ten of Swords is coming out in the reverse. You knew something couldn't work. I feel this is only an upward situation from you. This is someone who was healing some type of resistance. Uh, healing, well, resistant, resisting some type of healing. And this is causing you to be held back as well. Causing you to miss opportunities. But I feel this energy causing you to juggle your emotions, juggle your thoughts, your energy, definitely cause some damage here. Damage that you're now healing or recovering from. Six of Cups, this is a very emotional situation where someone definitely got lost in their foolish ways, their ego and their pride. I feel something just can't be undone or unsaid or let go without a real talk. Passion. <laughs> real passion. It, this has to be authentic without anger. This is someone who's very scattered though. Their energy is coming out in the reverse. Knight of Wands energy, someone who is scattered, angry. Frustrated, reckless, impatient. This is someone who is still in conflict with self. And when this energy is in conflict with self, they'll always be reckless with you. I feel this is someone who is still living in the past here with the Six of Cups. And this is why something will never be right. Until they get something right with self, they'll always be left out and heavily burdened. I feel this is someone who is still sticking to their lies. The Moon card is letting me know they're still sitting in a space of illusion, mystery. Not coming from their intuition when they know that you gave the best that you had. Six of Pentacles. This energy knows that you are a giver and you're no longer pouring into them because of the heartbreak. Negative self-talk is keeping them from moving towards you. I feel this energy is still stuck in a space of confusion. Ace of Swords in the reverse. Someone still can't let something go or detach from the confusion because this energy is still moving foolishly. Still attached to a burden because they have failed to let go of the pain. The shame, the guilt, because they have yet to acknowledge it. Still not putting in the effort, eight of pentacles. But I feel this heartbreak is about to belong to them and only them as you heal, and they're not. I feel this will be sudden change here, awareness here with the four of cups energy here. Someone's going to have to accept something as you retreat or withdraw to heal or find some type of alignment someone's manifestation is not working someone is trying to manifest or create some type of illusion through their secrets someone wants you to believe something that isn't so wow five of wands someone doesn't want you to see some type of conflict hmm. some type of debate someone doesn't want you to hear something it will only bring some type of conflict debate disagreement strife someone's moving out of ego when it comes to teamwork or collaborating with others here with the three of pinnacles so here's the three of pinnacles five of source energy someone's definitely holding some resentment here someone feels defeated because something is not fixed someone thought that you would do the work but i feel you cut your losses hmm. Someone desires the energy of forgiveness, but this energy is still not putting in the work when it comes to an offer of breaking your heart or causing disappointment, not putting in the effort when it comes to building or repairing something. Someone is moving in double energy, low vibrational energy of someone who needs to do the shadow work. This is someone who is tapped into their shadow self, still not giving in to what is true. Page of Wands energy. This is someone who has no real ideas, no real offers. Page of Pentacles. So this is someone who is being real petty and defensive with you. Someone sees you as a great challenge here. Now that you have separated yourself from something or someone that you're trying to heal from. Hmm. 
For some of you, you're in the the place of healing. And for some of you, you've moved past this. But I feel, I feel like you made something clear hmm. to someone who is sitting in delays and frustration. I feel like you are moving intuitively. Hmm. I feel like you have to heal to find a clear understanding if someone is taking your silence or your distance personal. This energy is taking it personal and they're sitting in a very low vibrational space thinking about it. Let's get one more card here. This is someone who's sitting in a very low vibrational space even though they should be reflecting, going deep, healing. Instead, this energy is choosing to play petty games with you because they're too intimidated to reach out to you. This is why they see you as a challenge when it comes to some type of debate, rival, strife, tension, conflict. They feel like the egos or the energy between the two of you will clash. There will be no heart. There will be no compassion. You're no longer pouring into them or having any compassion for their strife. Let's get one more card here, Holy Spirit, one more card here. Let's get it looks like we have three. So this is the Nine of Cups. Something didn't go well because of the conflict, the pain, the confusion. Someone knows they are out of space of defeat. Someone had to settle or someone knows they took a great loss by distorting something with you and not being honest with you. I felt this is someone who is holding on to some type of remorse that has somehow turned into resentment. There's a lot of regret, but this energy knows they can't make amends so easily. This is why they're giving up and sitting in some painful, petty energy. Someone's doing some petty things, saying some petty things, but I feel in the dark when they're alone and they're dealing with how they truly feel. And trust me. Trust me, it's not so easy to deal with what they're thinking and feeling. Someone knows they didn't keep a promise. Someone knows they didn't keep a promise when it comes to you. Now they're having some type of reality check when it comes to a third party or a false environment. Someone feels like they should have done the teamwork. They should have had more compassion for a situation, but someone chose an easier route. Now they're wanting to be admitted back into your life. They know they screwed this up. But this energy is too full of their pride to really admit that to you. This is why someone needs a reality check to really give in to what they know is real. Because they can't replace you as easily as they thought they could. Someone's definitely living a nightmare. Someone could be dealing with the justice system or some type of arrest. Something dealing with their actions or behavior. Someone's living a nightmare after trying to replace you or pretend like you meant nothing. But whatever it is, it's a lot of action. Total drama. As I said before, this energy is all over the place when it comes to what they're thinking, what they know they should have did despite what they really did. But I feel what they're dealing with right now is a reality check, but this energy is still finding the time to be resentful, resentful towards you. This energy is resentful because there, things are not going right. It's a nightmare. But I feel this energy is experiencing a nightmare or a struggle, challenges or competition because they need to grow. And the challenges they're going through is for growth, experience, wisdom. And I feel this is someone who should be very careful of how they get to a situation. But I feel this is someone who should be careful when it comes to their experiences or the changes of life. Because none of this, none of this is easy. I feel this is someone who invested in something that they thought was going to be a better situation or this is someone who is just giving into their freedom, their choices, their false ways. But I feel it only brought them more heartache, more challenges, despite what they thought about you. And now since they believe they can't have what they want, this is someone who is giving into the disappointments of life. Mm. Let's get some energy here. So this separation definitely caused some damage here. 
this energy feels like it can't get no worse than what it is this is why this energy is acting the way they are after walking away someone brought a challenge upon themselves there's a lot of emotion there's a lot of frustration and i think this frustration is stemming from someone who is dealing with some very unfamiliar feelings because someone is spoiled I don't know if this energy is just spoiled by the choices or other people or whatever this is. Someone didn't see something. Now that they're getting older, everyone's over it. Everyone's tired of the drama, even you. But I feel this energy is so busy numbing the pain, numbing the pain of the burden. They've isolated themselves from the truth. And this is why they can't get things right with you, even though they know. They screwed this up. I feel like this is someone who just doesn't like the fact that you're not seeing things their way. Or there's no easy way out of the mess they've made. So I sense this energy is kind of calling your bluff, even though they know they made this mess. And they know that you're over the stress, this energy is still calling your bluff. Believing you're going to move first, this energy is putting in no effort, but starting to realize without any effort, there will be no change. I feel you have to clear something to clear something away to find your own sense of peace, your own sense of clarity or understanding of a situation. You're not accepting any type of fake apology. Someone's so spoiled, they feel like they can just make light of something when it comes to the separation or forget the details but they know they screwed something up and this is why they're staying at a distance feeling like you're going to be ruthless with them because of how they chose to destroy or shatter something with you for many of you you see this energy as someone who doesn't have much of an offer but i feel this is someone who destroyed or shattered broke something with you even though they have a lot of love for you but this energy is poisonous toxic even though this energy has a lot of love for you, they always seem to screw things up because of their toxic way of believing and thinking or trying to put you in your place. I mean, this is someone who got themselves caught up. You're over it. You're over the betrayals, the deceit, the backstabbing ways. So many of you kicked them to the curb. And for some of you, they pushed you to it. This energy walked away and you just closed the door. I feel this is someone you have to be cautious with because you feel like the energy is fake due to their traitor energy, snake-like ways, deceit. You have to be the bigger person. You have to be the bigger person when it comes to someone who is always acting childish and getting caught up on, caught up in the things that they destroy. I feel you have to stand your ground when it comes to someone who feels like they're always hating on you. I feel there's a sense of caution when it comes to a runner energy or someone who is just always making bad choices of running something out or riding something out, but due to something being expired. This energy knows you're sick and tired of hearing the excuses and you're no longer listening. This is someone who's still putting on a show when it comes to something that is clearly falling apart, but I feel this is someone who's so stuck in their own ways or bad choices that they're still trying to play something through, run something out, ride something out, even though they know this game over. There's no way out of this. They can't burn the evidence in a situation that's already exploded. Someone doesn't like the fact that you're centering yourself. Someone's worried or thinking about what you're attracting. This could be materialistic, but the, I also feel this is affairs of the heart. Someone knows that you know a truth. Someone knows that you know the tea and they are still keeping secrets. And this is why they're at a distance. Someone's at a distance because of what they did for money or fame or attention even though they hate nothing about you. Someone just didn't have the strength, not in the way that you do. I feel this is someone who's just not strong when it comes to love. This is someone who has outdated ways of thinking when it comes to creating, growing, and maintaining love. This is someone who just has a very screwed up way of thinking when it comes to giving and receiving. And this is what makes them toxic. Even though, they got a lot of love for you. This is someone who can be very fake. 
and even believable at times, but I feel the fact that they are calling your bluff on something, still not speaking the truth, is causing no damage to you. As I said before, you're moving forward even though there's a lot of pain when it comes to something that has no closure, a lack of respect, because someone is yet to heal something within. I feel whatever this energy is going through has nothing to do with you, but this energy is clearly going through something. Let's get another energy here. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's jump right in. I feel like this is someone who's calling it bluff when it comes to putting you at a distance or being silent. I feel like thought that this was temporary when it comes to the distance or the chaos that they caused. Someone felt like you would soon get over it, yet they're starting to become more resentful. More resentful as the days go on. Now that they feel things just won't go work out for them, you won't hear them out or you'll see past their lies and see straight to the truth. Someone knows that you're, you're going to see that what they destroyed is still broken, screwed up, there's no growth. This is why many of you feel like you're just too spoiled to be woman enough or man enough to talk to you, send you some type of message or some type of communication. Someone could be at a distance, that's why I said before, they're hiding, hiding, not wanting to be exposed. For their lies and deceptions, someone has been comfortable for so long, they felt like what they destroyed would soon put itself back together. But someone is now realizing they're going to have to do something with intention. This is someone you had to release or let go, follow your north node when it comes to something that has been left up in the air. Higher self. You have to tap into your higher self. And for some of you, this was activated through your pain. I feel you had to activate something to tap, in, tap into your purpose. This is why something was left in the air for you to find a different direction. I feel you are not misguided. You are divinely guided. I feel you're about to find your strength through your pain, activating your higher self or even your third eye energy that brings you celebration through family, love, commitment. For many of you, this could be a new celebration within home or some type of reunion. This could also be new love where a bond was broken. But I feel someone is going to be very surprised by your rebirth, your growth, your healing, your process, your breakthrough. For many of you, this will strike you as an epiphany as you detach from something that has made you very emotional. This water energy could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Please take it how it resonates. But this is a very emotional or delicate situation that you had to break through and be present. Find gratitude. Pour into self. Now someone is going to take action. So it looks like someone's going to want to take action towards you or move towards you after you have found some type of peace, after you feel like the dust has settled and something is over, something or someone is about to pop up. This will be very emotional and possibly a tie to something that you were very closely tied to. A facade. Hmm. There is divine energy here protecting you, guiding you through your self-care, where someone will soon find a sense of regret for not transforming and wanting their freedom. I feel your ancestors are also tied here. So I feel like you're getting alchemy energy of assistance from guys, spirit guides, ancestors, where you have to make a decision where someone is now regretting. I feel you have to make this decision, this choice, to find a sense of fulfillment or peace through manifestation or even prayer. I feel this is where you are calling in your ancestors and your guides to heal. Heal from a sense of confusion while dealing with the twin flame energy. I feel this twin flame was bound to resonate within your life to teach you growth and wisdom as well as a sense of moving on from something that is just not meant for you. I feel bigger, better things are coming your way and for many of you, you have already stepped into your phase or your cycles of celebration. I feel this could also be a storm, unpredicted energy coming for someone who is sitting in a space of regret. This could also be an unexpected change to see you moving on 
while they're still sitting in a space of being fragmented or lost. Someone doesn't want to be rejected by you. This could be very painful and this is why someone is sitting in this spiteful ways I'm getting the energy of someone thinking, well, if they're not going to talk about how they feel, I'm not. But this is someone who broke your heart, not the other way around. This is someone who should have expressed their love to you many times over, but they've been so petty, so lost that they've had to lie to themselves just to heal from what is broken. I feel this is someone who's going through a sense of shadow self or a dark night of the soul while being very guarded or closed off this energy is still resisting something that is fated to happen but i feel they're not wanting to give in to this guilty conscience of sabotaging something bringing pain wow so someone knows they sabotage something with you they sabotage something that was forming, a structure, something that was solid, the chemistry changed. The chemistry changed because something was left up in the air. This air energy could also be Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. Please take it how it resonates with your message. But someone is definitely guarded and trying to be upset with you, trying to have some reason to hate you, just so they don't have to give in to the energy of loving you, as they truly had no reason to change. I feel something was left up in the air here that someone is now ashamed of, that someone is not speaking of, someone doesn't like the feeling of defeat. Defeat when it comes to their self-worth or their reckless ways. But I also feel there is a cycle to be completed with someone who is completely reckless. This could be external issues or some inner conflicts, but I feel these are cycles that need to be completed. Reflection needs to happen for someone to seek a truth, an unbiased truth no matter the pain. Someone needs to express a truth, speak something that is unspoken, but someone is still lost in a space and trying to control something, trying to control something from a very emotional space, even though they know something is over, something is dead, you already won. I feel you won the, the moment you walked away. Hmm. The moment you walked away from something that was somewhat comfortable, but destroying you just the same. There's a lot of distance when it comes to someone that's avoiding you, but this energy is bringing disharmony to their own life. This is limitations that are self-imposed because someone refuses to surrender. This could be fire energy of Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, but something was burned down to the ground because someone failed to purge, detox, or release past pains that were holding them back or keeping them distressed. There's no renewal when it comes to a union. There's no offer to someone they know nurtured them. Someone knows they didn't give you the compassion you deserve. They know they owe this apology. They know they need to seek this forgiveness. But they're still dealing with their ego. Someone's still dealing with their ego when it comes to a separation. They don't like the fact that you walked away. They don't like the change. This is an unexpected change and someone feels like you transcending or being intuitive. It's just too much for them. Someone feels like you're out of their league or the bridge is already burnt. But I feel this is someone who burnt a bridge. I feel this is someone who set fire to something causing damage that could not be repaired but it's only because of their own vanity pride and ego someone couldn't ask for this apology or send some type of message to communicate with you i feel that's all that was needed let's get a couple more cards here confirmation here something wasn't a part of the plan the loss of you you changing direction separation it wasn't part of the plan now someone is feeling like they're limit limited there's a fear they're spying, inspecting, see how to come into something. Someone's trying to find the courage, the liquid courage, or some type of reasoning to come your way. Someone is looking for an opportunity after a crisis, a loss that they're trying to accept, but it's only left them fragmented because more things are burning to the ground than they, than they expected. They feel like they lost control. But I feel this is someone who was never in control. They were just too comfortable, clinging, clinging to something that should have been lost. Someone is now triggered by a conflict or disharmony within self. 
I feel this is someone who wants you to remember or at least hold on. Someone feels like you're just not going to listen now that you have tapped in a new tapped into a new sense of self. Some type of offer that they make just won't be good enough. Someone feels like the offer that they make towards you won't be good enough. This is why they're hesitant to make some type of confession or offer. They would rather leave something the way that it is, whether good or bad. Someone feels like you won't get the truth from them. This is someone who wants you to invest, but they are filled with lack and doubt. They feel like an offer just won't be accepted or what they have to offer just won't be good enough. So they sit in this space of reckless energy, of triggers, disharmony within life because they feel like you're just guarded. Something towards them is just too vulnerable so you've guarded yourself. You're not wanting to open up or even receive and this is just causing them to be in their head about you, isolated, still bound to their toxic ways. So someone has isolated themselves, trying to run from what is faded I feel these detours are to teach more lessons for someone who is still stuck and bound to their patterns. I feel this is someone who is about to reap from the so reap from the seeds they have sown, just so they can ground themselves. Earth energy here of Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel this energy is definitely re reaping what is sown when it comes to you. I feel this is someone who is about to go through a lot of karma to bring justice and balance. Where someone is sitting in a space of lack when it comes to the past, they're just suffering. Someone's suffering from their past weaknesses and deceptions, but the fact that they don't want to really admit to it, it's what's bringing in a balance through karma, blood, sweat, and tears. Whatever is bound to this energy will also be attached to karma, debt, consequences cause and effect especially when it comes to someone who is bound to a debt when it comes to a, a, a soul contract that was broken there will never be any harmony there will never be any stability or flow in their life without it only destruction is faded Someone wants to take action, but this energy is just not present when it comes to their life. This energy is still sitting in a space of confusion. There is no fulfillment because they have yet to heal and make a decision when it comes to being guided by their spirit guides. This is someone who is lacking when it comes to an offer because they have yet to realize what is what needs to be offered is not material. And for some of you, it can't be said. Only actions can prove what needs to be done. This is someone who needs to come from a genuine space, but I feel this is someone who needs to go through a little more to get a little more. Let's get one more card from this deck. Because they have only brought themselves to a sense of fate through their detours, their lies, their games, their bad ways. One more card, you guys. Because this apology or this sense of guilt won't be lifted. This burden won't go away. There will only be frustration, tears, distractions, losses, no gains for someone who has still yet to make an offer when it comes to a day one energy. Someone who needs, deserves, and should have already had their loyalty. But I feel something being left up in the air has caused a lot of destruction. You clearing something went away is also a distraction or a shock to someone who is still moving carelessly. Let's get another deck here. We're going to close out this reading here with an oracle deck. Of course, let me know down below if you'd like another reading. <laughs> so let's jump right in, you guys. Holy Spirit. Someone's definitely at a crossroads when it comes to a situation. Someone knows that the compassion and the warmth that you once had could be destroyed because of the lack of growth or communication. I feel someone was just spoiled to the facts of you fixing something or you letting them get away with something. But this is why there is no apology for someone who has been hidden for some time. Not showing their true self. Because they lack when it comes to change and courage. I feel there is no growth when it comes to this energy. They have still 
yet to make a decision because they're still living like a fool. Final energy. Stargazer. This is a dreamer energy. They're always lost in some type of fantasy or false illusion. And I feel this energy does that just to get by. But someone needs to put energy into self and what is broken because this energy is still being bold when it comes to trust issues. Mm. Someone thinks about your compassion, your warmth all the time, the conversations, the energy between the two of you, and they're contemplating. This is stargazer energy of someone who needs to change paths of something that has been destroyed. Someone knows that they are a fool, but someone is still not wanting to admit it, admit it to you and even self, and this is why something has yet to be closed or resolved activated i feel something has caused you to activate something within and this is why someone can get next to you i also feel for some of you this could be accessed through your your guides and your ancestors divine energy here of someone who has cleared something away i feel you have to clear something away to receive this abundance coming your way you are the potter inner healing Something is definitely moving your way that will bring you a sense of peace. Something will be the key, and I feel all the missing pieces will come together, especially when it comes to your pain and your energy. I see you standing up and creating memories in a different direction. I feel many of you are open to receive. You've been patient, and someone's going to be left on the outside looking in, spying moon energy of someone realizing that you are healing and manifesting spiritual energy i feel someone is silent they're ghosting you because they're still dealing with some wounds and for some of you they're still pointing fingers things are definitely escalating or accelerating when it comes to someone who is still exploring but something is still parked they're still not moving when it comes to their loyalty because they're still playing childish games playing the puppet master Someone still doesn't realize that this is not a game. But I feel they're going to realize that through their pain. They can't manipulate or be in solitude. They're going to have to purposely take a different route. Because anything they do other than taking a different route, taking care of self and everyone else around them, they will continue to be lost and dangerous. There will be a sense of caution when it comes to someone who needs to make an offer, but they still have a stone heart. Someone is still worried about how things look or the material things of life. They're still needing to pass some type of threshold when it comes to a transition, a new beginning. And even when it comes to commitment, foundation, legacy, and loyalty. I feel it's going to be a cold winter for a masculine or an overbearing energy who has yet to see the sunset. I feel this is someone who is cuffed, still not grounded, still not rooted. This is someone who is still setting sail. Pirate energy of someone who still worries about how something looks. They're still selfish, careless, materialistic. This is someone who is still disconnected and taking their time when it comes to being rooted, grounded in loyalty, commitment. They're still cuffed to something that causes them to set sail men mentally, physically. So this energy setting sail could be them moving around constantly or this energy just constantly telling lies, never being rooted in the truth. This energy is always being flighty scattered and disconnected never really passing or getting through a threshold when it comes to maturity activation of self still numbing the pain to something that should have been forever someone has to numb the pain this is what they're trying not to be cup to they know it's a challenge this is why someone is staying disconnected from you someone knows that to be free they have to be disconnected from clarity which is only causing them to lose direction. Someone set sail and became aloof, unbothered, distant when it comes to you. And the more you try, the more distant they became. I feel like it was all a game until life played a dirty trick on them and things are now reverse. Someone's no longer in flow. This is a sticky situation for someone who is lost in a loop to something that is broken. This energy is not wanting to give in to the grief of the difficult situations that they have created. 
someone wants to come to an agreement, but they feel like something is already set in stone. I feel like this is someone who's always risking something, always taking risks, being destructive or impulsive when they know they need a helping hand, but I feel this is someone who also burns bridges when it comes to those that have been helpful. Burn bridges when it comes to a soul connection, a close bond that is now like fire and ice, a real struggle. There's a lot of confusion here. I feel there's a lot of confusion for someone who is now learning lessons when it comes to an illusion, love, romance, not being able to communicate their heart, their emotions, their feelings. This is someone who created a, a lot of damage where something is now faded in love. I feel someone had to live and learn when it comes to a struggle, having a helping hand when it comes to a connection, something that was built on love and not crisis. I feel this is someone who is dealing with a karmic situation or a karmic experience or just plain karma. Someone failed to activate self and who they should be, should be able to carry on or get through this, but the person that they are won't. I feel lightning, lightning would have to strike for someone who is still not stepping up to the paint. Someone's still not stepping up to the plate when it comes to burning things to the ground, illusions, something that is faded, a struggle, or even communication. But I feel someone's needing to communicate, someone needs to tell the truth, or something will be balanced through fairness and justice. Something will be made final because of someone's lack of effort, love, and compassion. This is a free for all for someone who needs to accept something before time is out. I feel a sudden change of ex unexpected events will cause someone who is aloof to realize what they had with you was forever. But to do so, I'm going to have to take the mask off. This energy is going to have to take the mask off. But regardless of when or if they do it. They're just prolonging the pain of being damaged, broken, battered, fragmented, unhappy, and full of despair and pain. Because this one or chaser dynamic is definitely getting old. This energy should have reconnected by now, but this energy has been in a space of cloudy judgment, drinking their pain away or numbing their energy blue. Someone's feeling blue and silent. Someone's ghosting you on purpose. They feel like you cut them off, but to deal with their thoughts, their energy of knowing that what they did was wrong, someone is believing some way that they cut you off because you're not who you claim to be. But I feel you've been everything that you have claimed to be and more. But the fact that they can't deal with the loss is the reason why they're still pointing fingers at you. This is someone who knows that their lives can be destroyed by the truth that you bring, yet they still promote or support a false narrative just to keep from admitting to themselves or anyone else that they've been defeated or brought to a sense of misery. But I feel this is someone who brought themselves to their own demise through their own intentions, especially their actions. But I feel them numbing the pain will only lead to these harsh lessons that need to be learned where there will be sacrifice and pain hmm. for someone who was always broken. I feel this is someone who just learned how to deal instead of heal. This is why this energy is sending you through so much. But I feel you being able to tap into your higher self manifestation prayer is the reason you became the potter. Rebuilding, refreshing, rebuilding self through renewal, starting from scratch after being demolished by a fool. Someone who didn't know your worth and wasn't careful or they were not this energy, you are not in good hands with someone who knew that what they had with you was delicate and should have been held to that respect. But this energy had no loyalty or respect for yourself and this is why they couldn't give that same energy to you. You know, since this energy will soon find out here 
It's because of the lack of confidence or burning bridges to the ground. Karma will spare no one. This energy believes they may have gotten away with something but has gotten away with nothing. And if this is your energy believing this energy has yet to step in their karma, please, don't believe that. I feel just because you don't see their consequences, their effects, their karma, doesn't mean they're not paying it in full. Because if they don't get it instantly, I feel this is someone who's just adding to their karmic debt. But as I said before, this is someone who's just going to have to pay the toll. As they soon find out, they won't be able to run from this. Run from the shame and the pain. Because karma doesn't miss. Hmm. And the karma you get is definitely the karma from the pain that was given. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading.